welcome. I'm a Leo. Today we are going to talk about the estimation. Today I'm going to try to answer all your questions, cause this is just a video of well, just trying to talk it to you. Hmm. So the first question is, hmm, you might be wondering, when do we use estimation? This is a good question. Okay, so estimation is used when an exact answer to a problem is nearly impossible to find. Like if somebody asked you, "What is the difference between the sun and the moon?" Well, we don't know the exact answer, but I could tell you this. It is around one hundred fifty million kilometers. So this isn't the exact answer, but it's an estimation. So here is the difference between the moon and the sun. And now to the second question: Hmm, what is an estimation? Oh, I know. An estimation is an answer that is close to all you need. Like if somebody asked you, "How many hairs do you have on your head?" Well, you can't count the one by one, or else that well, it wouldn't be possible to count them one by one. But you could give them an estimation. I could tell you that an average person has about one hundred thousand hairs on their head. Wow, that's a lot of hair. I don't even think I have that much. Just kidding. Remember, this is just an estimation. Maybe I have one more hair than you. Ha ha ha! That would be funny. Now let's look at the rounding rule. So the rounding rule is look up the digit to the right of the place value that we are rounding to. So if the digit is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we round up. And if the digit is a zero, one, two, three, or four, we round down. So this. Is the rounding rule? Let's do a few examples. So here, we need to round to the nearest ten. So first, we have seventy-two. We see that the seven is in the tens position, and the digit to the right of the tens position is the ones position. In this case, it is. The two, so the two is in the ones position. We know that if the digit is a zero, one, two, three, four, we round down. Since this is a two, so we round down to seventy. Now let's look at this example. It's five hundred eighty-seven. So the eight is in the tens position. And the digit to the right of the tens position is the ones position. So here, seven is in the ones position. For numbers five, six, seven, eight, nine, we round up. Since this is a seven, so we round up to five hundred ninety. Now let's look at a few more examples. So remember, now we're going to round to the nearest hundred, not ten. Okay, remember it's hundred, not ten. So here we have the number one thousand two hundred eighty-three. The two is in the hundreds position, and the digit to the right of the hundreds position is the tens position. In this case. The eight is in the tens position. Since 
Eight is greater than five. We round up to one thousand three hundred, which is also known as thirteen hundreds. So here's a little tip: the number to the right, right of the hundreds position. In this case, we know that the number is one thousand two hundred eighty-three. So the number to the right. Right of the hundreds position, well, in this case is three. It's not going to change the value of anything, so you don't have to think about the ones position in this case. Now let's look at another example. It's six thousand one hundred thirty-five. I encourage you to pause this video and think about it. So here we see that one is in the hundreds position, and the digit to the right of the hundreds position is the tens position. So here in the tens position we have the digit three. Since three is less than five, we round down to da 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 sixty one hundreds, which is also known as six thousand one hundred. Now let's look at a few more examples. Now we're going to round to the nearest dun, 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 thousand. Remember, it's not ten or hundred anymore. It's thousand. Maybe you don't know where the thousands position is. Well, the thousand position is three digits to the left of the ones position. So in this case. Here we have eight thousand eight hundred ninety. The thousands position, so we can count, is one, two, three. So the thousands position is here. So here, in the thousands position, we have the number eight. To the right of the thousands position is the hundreds position. So in this case, eight is in the hundreds position. Since eight is greater than five, we round up to nine thousand. Now let's look at this number over here. Okay, so this number is big, but don't be afraid. It's also going to be the same rounding rule. So here we have the number sixty-five thousand and four hundred seventy-eight. So again, we see. That the five is in the thousand position, and the digit to the right of the thousands position is in the hundreds position. So here the four is in the hundreds position. Since four is less than five, we round it down to sixty-five thousand. Now let's figure out this question. What is the largest whole number that rounds to five hundred when rounded to the nearest thousand?、Hmm. This is an interesting question. So here I have kind of like a chart. So here is the thousands position. Here is the hundreds position, and here is the tens position. Here is the ones position. So in the thousands position, if we write a four. Then in the hundreds position, we need to write a five and up, so we can round to five hundred. Or we can write the five in the thousands, and in the hundreds position, we need to write a four and down. Since this one is bigger, so we cross out the four thousand and five and up. So we cross this one out. Bang, bang, bang. So we know that we can have five thousands, and in the hundreds position, we can have a zero, one, two, three, four. Since four is the biggest in these choices, then we put a four in the hundreds position. In the previous slides, we know that the tens position and the ones position doesn't really matter, so we can just write the biggest digit. Which is the nine, so we put a nine in the tens position and a nine in the ones position. 
So here we have the number five thousand four hundred ninety-nine. So the answer is five thousand four hundred ninety-nine. Did you like this video? I find math very interesting. I hope you have fun learning math with me. Don't forget to subscribe.